Here is a tutorial that I wrote in a written format when I had a Windows XP computer. Now I'm hoping that the Mac users will come along and give us some instructions and help in the forum on how to uh, do this for a Mac computer, but I currently have a Windows 7 computer and Vista and 7 actually do this differently and so I'm going to record the video to show you how it works in uh, Vista and Windows 7. Um, often uh, digital scrapbookers like to put how many pages they have completed during a specific period of time, most often that year, in their signature lines in the forums. Sometimes um, people might start a thread uh, because it's just fun to compare how many layouts you've created during that year and it gives you inspiration to um, create more. And so sometimes it can be difficult um, counting those pages and I want to show you a few tips on how that you can um, count how many digital scrapbook pages you have completed during a specific period of time. Now you can read this tutorial in XP and it shows you how to search and um, do everything that you need to do in, to make it easy in XP. But I have a folder opened up here in um, my Windows Vista and the search features are, are so much different and even I have had a little bit of difficulty transitioning to these new search features. Um, in this folder are all the digital scrapbooking layouts I've ever created. Um, what I tend to do is drop them in here and in the bottom are the layouts that I have not printed. <laughs> you can see I got a lot of printing I need to get to. Once I print them then I move them up into a folder like here are ones by year. And uh, you can see I'm really far behind. And so um, the idea is to search this folder where I have all of my digital scrapbooking layouts for just the ones that I made this year. And if I click on the search box up here, I can see that I have some advanced search options where I can search by date modified or size. I don't need to put any words in here. I just need to find the options to sort by date. And if I click on date modified, there are some options. I can choose the one earlier this year and it will find those layouts, but I was uncomfortable. Here they are. I was uncomfortable with um, earlier this year because two months ago is earlier this year. Does this mean the entire year? And so I wanted to be able to search specific dates. So um, after you get this code up here, date modified colon is the code. You could type that in manually if you wanted, but you can just delete earlier this year and simply put in 2011 and it's going to find everything that was modified in 2011. And then to make this simpler to count since I keep both my PSD and the JPEGs together, um, I'm going to change this to a detail view and here is the date that it was modified but I'm going to find, and I really, I don't have it here. If it doesn't show up, right click um, right up here on any one of these little areas up here. Right click and then choose type to have the type of file um, show up and now I have over here a column for the type of folder and I can click on this and it will sort by type of folder or file and now it puts the JPEGs all together it's still only showing my search results and it puts the PSD files all together so then I can go through here and just count one or the other of those one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, uh, can get a little tricky. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Only 11. <laughs> I think I might have a few more on my laptop that I haven't moved over to this EHD. So this tells you that I need to scrap more. <laughs> I don't scrap enough. Um, another option for searching that you can do is just begin to type in the date or if this calendar shows up I can go back to January 1 and then the key is to type a dot dot two dots because that tells it um, this is their code for range and then I can follow the way this is set so uh, in in format and choose a, another range. Let's say I just wanted to know how many layouts I created in the first three months. I can do one, three. Uh, I, I don't know how many days are in March. I think there's 31. And um, 2011. So you see it's following this and um, click enter and it's going to come up with the results here and I had one, two, three, four, five, only six in the first three months. So um, and that is how you can more easily search um, to find your layouts in order to count them so you know how many are just for um, that particular year. Um, I hope this has helped you learn a little bit about your computer and I hope that you come along into the forum and either put it in your signature lines how many layouts you've created this year or just share in the forum itself. Have fun! <laughs>